Hey everyone, it's Ticklin. In this video, we're going over the latest on Shadowlands. The developer update as of April 6th just came out, took a read through it, and dang, it looks freaking awesome. Some very big good news things for us PVPers and some other things. Guys, but number one, I'll put the link down in the description. Make sure you are opted into the beta for your best chance at getting included in very early on for testing, etc., and getting to try some of this awesome stuff to come out. I will say overall, I am very excited for Shadowlands, but let's jump into this. This is why you're in this video. Now, they talk about uh, it's been five months since Shadowlands experience, the transformative nature of it, la la la. I'm gonna go to the points, guys. I'm gonna try to dig through this for you guys. Guys. Later in this week, we'll be sending out our first round of invitations to the closed alpha pre-beta, very restricted likely, uh, closed alpha testing for Shadowlands. This first batch of invites will mainly go out to longtime WoW players, I'd appreciate that, with active status and good standing so you haven't been banned, as well as Blizzard friends and family, along with a limited number of content creators and journalists. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, this in initial wave is supposed to be a small fraction of the total pool that will be coming and testing in recent, uh, in coming months. If you're interested, make sure you're bot opt in. I'll put this link down in the description as well, guys. Make sure you are opted in. This is hype. This is hype. Um, when the alpha servers go live, we'll have a, uh, we will have the full level up experience, which guys, by the way, guys, if you guys don't know this. They're changing the leveling range from zero, uh, from level one to 60. They're changing the experience of leveling much differently. So it is more around each X pack. Now there's a lot more information about this. I will be making more content as Shadowlands is coming up. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if there's certain things you would like to know more about or areas of the new X-Pack you are interested in. I would be happy to make those. Let's keep going. Later on, we'll be engaged in PvP, focused PvP and raid testing. Focus PvP, I don't remember them doing this for, B, for BFA. I don't remember them calling out PvP. This could be a good sign for future planning. Now, Blizzard's a huge company. They're probably on these, you know, development cycles that are very like uh, planning it way ahead so i'm hoping they're planning way ahead aka shadowlands for making pvp more of a core element of the game from a competitive standpoint because the awcs have been awesome in bfa they were awesome in legion but now maybe they're ratcheting up a little bit raid testing of course rating is huge we'll be uh, doing some targeted invite waves that prioritize players with extensive experience or expertise in those parts of the game that makes sense though i do hope they do give general wave invites just to whomever, you know? When the Alpha servers go live, we will have the full level up experience zone for Bastion. That's one of the leveling zones based on the, uh, I forget what they're called, man, uh, convents. Uh, along with the, with the accompanying dungeon, dungeon, the Necrotic Wake. Awesome. Testers who are interested in checking out our revamped new player experience can play through the Alliance version of the new zone and tutorials. We aim to roll out the new content on a regular basis throughout the testing cycle, meaning they'll start with a little bit, they'll give chunks along the way later in April. We hope to offer, dude, that means, wait, 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 this means this might come out tomorrow. This might come out really soon, later in April. That means earlier in April, they're gonna release it. Ooh, that means Apple might be soon. Might already be, already be out and I might not be in it. That's probably, that might be why. Guys, check your launchers for the alpha icon. It will be down here, under here, you know? So check that, check all this stuff out. Make sure you're, if you have it or not and put it down in the comments if you do. Okay. All right. So talking new zone as well as a look at Torghast, the Tower of the Dam. That's the number one piece of content I'm so excited about. Our endless dungeon experience. Exactly. We will continue to unlock content such as zones, dungeons, endless end game quest lines that are be ready for feedback as long as uh using template characters okay i appreciate that has needed to focus on testing and feedback of the specific parts of the game once everything is released in the test environment we'll move into the beta phase wiping out characters and kicking off a larger round of invites for the end-to-end -end test of the entire experience awesome while the content will be rolled out methodically over the course of the alpha many of our underlying systems changes systems changes will be apparent from the moment the player logs in the first week. A few examples. Players of all 12 classes will immediately see changes in their spellbook, talents, and in some cases, their resources. Ooh, I'm curious what about talents. I wonder if they're changing the whole system or not. I don't expect them to, but what if they went back to TBC talents? We'll have a separate blog uh, coming out in the coming days discussing how we plan to implement class design philosophies, okay, that they laid out at BlizzCon, which weren't too far off from what they are now, and kiss some key, because I was at BlizzCon and saw that shit, and uh, giving key examples of the sorts of changes to expect for each class and specialization. Unlike the last couple of expansion alphas where the conversation with the community be often begin with, let us say, uh, with us saying, let us know which spells you miss most, this time we're eager to hear whether you've gone too far with unpruning. 
oh, so if they've added too many abilities back and then it maybe it feels worse. Because one of the big things in uh, Shadowlands is they're bringing back abilities. They're bringing back Shattering Throw for Warriors that pops bubbles or ice blocks. They're bringing back certain totems for Shaman. Maybe the bunch of folks actually really hated Eyes of the Beast all along, uh, all along you know, who knows? Okay, so they're gonna test out. They're bringing all these abilities back and now they're gonna ask. They're gonna try to figure out from us what's up. So that is good to know. We've been making improvements to the quest interface with an eye uh, towards better distinguishing major quests that advance the narrative to optional quests. Our work in pro uh, work in progress 3D indicator of tracked quests objectives. Ooh, I don't know what that is. I haven't, I haven't really heard about that. Available to use, which aims to reduce the need to bring up the map when navigating around the world map. Maybe it's like an arrow that points you like where to go. That would be kind of cool. Not a huge thing, but it would be cool. Quality of life. We're rolling out the system that allows players to set a personal waypoint on the map as well. That ping. Oh, share that pin in the chat. That's actually helpful. So that you can no longer need an add-on to convey exactly. Oh, right. So like that's something where if I like point somewhere, I can share it in the chat so people can see that instead of having coordinates. That is a huge that's actually, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, and just pretty smart. Uh, we're in 2020 after all. Uh, also to note, there are some changes to PVP currencies. I know about this. Notably conquest is once again, a spendable currency earned through Shadowlands rated PVP. Players will be able to use conquest points to purchase specific items of their choice from a vendor from the capital in an easy to find location naturally. Uh, oh, they're saying this maybe because Mooga Booga was out of the way and at uh, the Harbor, like, in, in BFA, the PvP areas are kind of like out there. Maybe it's just somewhere kind of close into the capital city this time. Conquest can also be used to upgrade that gear further, similar to how Benthic gear works with the Mana Pearls. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I do appreciate that. Because in BFA, you get like 440s, then you get 460s. Maybe this is something you get 440s, you can just upgrade them right away. That's good. We'll have a lot more information to share. That is so big, dude. PvP vendors are so big. That is going to bring back a lot of players that's going to bring back a lot of players we'll have a lot more information to share on the details of the system as well as a broader end game itemization plans that's a big deal because bfa has kind of been rough alts have been extremely rough to do gearing with azurite traits has been extremely rough to do as our community fans dig into the game you're going to uh okay this is just saying and crafted legendary items most of the features remain work in progress especially in alpha we remain guided on the core philosophies Okay, that's it. The biggest news here is, guys, PvP vendors are back. Now, that is a huge deal. Why? Because gearing alts now has a track. You just need to gather those points and do the raid. If you get certain pieces from the raid or from PvP, -E, then you don't need to get those pieces from PvP. Right now in BFA, it is so challenging to gear alts, and it's also tough because you get RNG. Like, you might have the chest drop this week, and if you pick the wrong chest, you will never get that again. You have to wait on RNG. Your character is actually maybe screwed or at a severe disadvantage if you made that wrong decision. Now, uh, and then you get more gear along the way, but you might have only options for gloves and pants when really you have to replace that four, that 300 item level ring. That's why it gives the player control, gives them the choice, and allows it to make gearing, especially on alt, much, much easier. That is very exciting. And it also allows you to itemize as you want. There won't, I mean, there will be a fixed number of combinations of gear, but at least you get to choose the one you want. And if you like made a mistake, you can come back the next week and choose the one you want. The upgrading, the upgrading factor here, that brings me back. That used to be in WoW, upgrading things based on raid points and all that stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I think it's probably good upgrading gear kind of over time like that instead of having new pieces drop. But it could be kind of weird. I don't know. I have, to, I have to think about that. I didn't read that the first time I read through this. So, But PvP vendors, amazing. Alpha coming out, amazing. It sounds like it's going to happen soon. And then beta coming after that with some very focused content, which I do appreciate, especially from a content creator's point of view. If they release everything at once, it's very hard to review everything. Having a very fixed base is very awesome. So guys, with that being said, I want to know what you think. PvP vendors are coming back. Are you hyped? Is, are you, is there a reason why you're not hyped? They're going to be able to upgrade those. There's going to be the alpha, the beta. There's going to be more abilities coming out. Maybe class fantasy, like class design might be altered. Guys, put down below. What do you think of PvP vendors? What do you think of class designs? What do you want to see change? What are you happy that's coming back from an ability? And with that being said, guys, we're going to have a lot more Shadowlands stuff coming out. The It's getting intense, guys. It's getting intense. A lot of stuff is coming out. Let me know down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video or on stream Twitch every day, 9 p.m. We'll see you then. Have a good one, everybody.